Sir Sridhar Ramphal was at the time speaking at the commissioning ceremony of a new building under the Foreign Affairs Ministry titled Ramphal House. Shortly after the electoral season is over, the International Court of Justice will commence public hearings from March 23rd to the 27th on whether it has jurisdiction to hear the Ghana of Venezuela border controversy case. As such, Sir Ramphal indicated that there is need to practice what is emblazoned in the national motto. Eyes and the ears of the global community will be upon us in a few weeks' time. The closing days of a national election and the days immediately after it when it pronounces its democratic decision. Those days are fractious ones in any democracy. And Ghana is not immune from this. But we do have a greater need than usual to demonstrate to the world that our national motto does describe us. Venezuela is claiming two-thirds of Guyana's territory, a petition which he dubbed as baseless. In just under a month, on the 23rd of March next, Guyana speaks to the world at the International Court of Justice in The Hague, speaks to the world in our efforts, efforts ever since the Republic breathed life, to put an end to what we regard, forgive me, Ambassador, as a baseless claim to two-thirds of our sovereign territory both land and maritime areas, with all that that means for the future of this country. On this matter, all of Guyana will be united in our quest for justice. On March 29, 2018, Guyana filed an application requesting the ICJ to confirm the legal validity and binding effect of the 1899 arbitral award regarding its boundary with Venezuela. Venezuela did not submit a response. The hearings will be held at The Hague in the Netherlands. Rupa Sinarain, The Evening News.